Hi, this is Dennis with Florida Insurance Inspections. We're here in Parkland, Florida, performing a wind mitigation on a newer 1994 house. Now I'm gonna start with my exterior photos. First, I'll take a picture of the front elevation showing all sides of the house. Next, I'm gonna take a picture of the house number. Okay, the first thing we're gonna look for is opening protection. Let's have a look. Okay, I don't see any shutters and these windows do not appear to be impact, but I will verify that later. One thing I do see is glass block window, unprotected. So I'm, I'm thinking this might have been built prior to the 1994 South Florida Building Code. Let's have a look at the garage door and see if we can verify that. Okay, I'm seeing that this is a not rated garage door with non-impact glazing. So that's going to lead me to assume that this is built prior to the 1994 South Florida Building Code. That's when they started requiring opening protection in this county. Again, I want to take a picture of the whole right side showing, showing the whole thing. This side's easy. Let's go to the back. Also, when we're going around the outside of the house, we're looking at roof geometry. So far, the front and the right side are hip roof, which is a big discount, so we want to make sure we pay close attention to the roof geometry. Okay, I'm going to get pictures of the rear elevation. This one's a little trickier, but we want to try to get all the whole elevation in the picture. Let's see what we can do. Okay, you're gonna see a small gable here. This is about five feet. So I'm gonna make sure I factor that into the roof geometry. Okay, it's, sometimes you wanna take a picture of the pool, because a lot of times the insurance agent is gonna request that at a later date, so it's good to have it in your file. Okay, so I'm gonna take pictures of the back elevation. This is gonna be almost impossible to get one picture. So this one's gonna be three. I'll go over here now. We see another small gable here on this end, so I mean five plus four, this might be nine feet, but we're gonna measure that at the end just to verify. One more picture of the rear of the elevation. Okay, now let's go to the left side. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the front to get a picture so I can show the whole side. Let's have a look at the, these windows to make sure they're not impact. Okay, this is not, definitely not an impact window. If you have ever touched an impact window, you know it's just like tapping on the concrete. That's not a, a good way to verify its impact, but it's a really good way to rule out that it's not impact. Okay, there's the left side picture. Um, so that's our, our, our elevation pictures. So we noted the opening protection, the roof geometry, and we got all our exterior photos, including the house number photo. Okay, after our exterior photos, we have verified there's no opening protection, but we noticed two small gables in the back. So what we're gonna have to do is measure the roof geometry. <clears throat> the way we do this, is we take the total perimeter length, the per total perimeter of the, all the roof lengths, and then we add the total perimeter of the non-hip roof shapes. So we're gonna measure the total perimeter, then we're gonna go to measure the small gables in the back. So here's my measuring wheel, I'm gonna start measuring. Okay, here's the first small gable we're gonna measure on the back. 
Okay, here's the next small gable. And now the last small gable on the rear, rear left elevation. Okay, this is Dennis with Florida Insurance Inspections. We are in the attic. We're here to verify the mitigation features. So first thing we're gonna do is measure the roof deck thickness. Okay, we have a half inch roof deck. All right, now we're gonna look for a miss now to verify the roof deck fastener length. Okay, I see a eight penny ring shank nail right there. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Okay, now we're gonna measure the spacing using my Zircon NT6 metal scanner. Remember, every time the scanner beeps, you wanna mark, make a mark with your Sharpie. Oh, you got one, two, three. Okay, so we're every six inches on that one. We're gonna do three trusses in a row to verify uniformity in the roof deck nailing. Okay, so now that we got our trusses marked, we're gonna label it, six inch nail spacing. I'm gonna use my tape measure I'm gonna photograph this right here, which will document the roof deck attachment for the report. Okay, now quick quick thing about missed nails. Is roof, miss roof nails code, a code violation? Yes, it is. What's the level of acceptable miss roof deck nails? Well, there's no, technically there's no level of accepted roof deck nails. This one doesn't look bad. I see, you know, one here, one there. Sometimes you'll encounter several missed roof deck nails. There's no level of acceptable missed nails. So if you notice there's too many missed nails, you can go try to move the roof deck. And sometimes it'll wiggle. When you're doing the report, you want to put that in other. And put too many missed nails. Okay, next thing we're going to look at is the roof to wall connection. Again, it's going to be either toenail, clip, or strap. So let's look and see what we have here. And I see a strap with two nails on the front side, and it looks like it's installed close enough to the truss where it will meet the minimum requirements. Now let me have a look at the back side and see what we have. Okay, so the strap has two nails on the back side, so this will meet the minimum requirements for a single wrap on the wind mitigation form. Now what we want to do is try to look at several, the best that we can, to verify uniformity. Because sometimes there's, there's some that aren't correct, so we want to ma make sure that that is the weakest connection as required on the 1802 wind mitigation inspection form. 